Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific, and the Pat C. T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. I'm Terry Funakoshi, and today we have with us our special guest, Meli Kalamakigma, and she is the owner of Mamalani. Hi, Meli. Hi, aloha. <laughs> So thank you for joining us today. And you know what? Why don't you just start telling us about your background? So I am a born and raised Kailua girl, um, windward side of Oahu, and raised you know, by my parents, my grandparents, also um, across the street from Kailua Beach. My grandpa was a fisherman. My grandma was a hula teacher. And I spent a lot of time with them growing up. So I guess that's me. I love the ocean. <laughs> I love surfing. I love. Um, working in the garden. I love, you know, just anything outside. And um, grew up, you know, going to Kamehameha schools, went to college in LA, and then I had three kids, wow. which changed, got married, <laughs> three kids. Um, and then I became a mom, oh. and that changes a lot of things. I know, I know what you mean. I have three kids, too. But tell us about your, um, your background in school. I know you had um, some degrees. Yeah. So I went to college and um, oh, there's a oh these are my kids. kids. Yep, I have three, uh, nine, seven, and two years old. And their names? Um, Poema, Waimanu, and Grace, or oh. Kawai Poleni. And they're the light of our lives and the reason why we're so passionate about a healthy, um, sustainable Hawaii for oh. the future. So, so cute. They're definitely the motivation and passion behind um, having a small business. Oh, great. So um, yeah, I went to school at Kamehameha. I went to college in LA mm -hmm. and I got a degree in nutrition. And then I came back to um, UH and I got uh, certified in human nutrition and food science. And then I became a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. After that, I, went, I worked a little bit and then I decided to go back to school and get a master's in public health and indigenous native Hawaiian, yeah, health, public health. So. Uh -huh. My passion has always been just a healthy lifestyle for both people and our land. And that was instilled in me by um, my kupuna, by my dad, who's also one of my employees. <laughs> he works for dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's my dad. He's like the best number one fan and employee support why we're um, you know, able to have my own businesses because my dad helps me too. Um, so. He just taught me to, you know, um, treat each other with kindness and mm -hmm. respect and humility, and um, he models that for me. So he's a huge driving force of Mama Lani. Um, also, like I said before, my grandmother, um, she, her nickname was Mama Lani, oh. or Kekau Ilani uh, Korea Kalama, and but we really called her Mama Lani, and that kind of translates to be, this is her on the screen, um, Ma, the mother who reveres heaven. She was just such a light in all of our lives and made a huge impact on me mm -hmm. um, from a young age. Um, so that's kind of why I started my business and why I named it after her, is just through the legacy that she left um, us in our childhood, yeah. So it sounds like your family was really your motivation for this business. But you know, after, when you went to school and then you graduated, did you know that you wanted to be an entrepreneur and that you were going to have this business? I knew I was always creative. And like from like high school, I was making my own costumes. Mm -hmm. And I think I have had three other businesses before this business. <laughs> so oh, wow. like I tried things. You know, my parents always like encouraged me to just kind of create. And my grandpa was like an inventor. So I just kind of grew up in this in this world of like anything's possible. You can kind of dream, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I didn't know I would find myself in this business, but I was. I have always been passionate about healthy lifestyles. Mm -hmm. So I'm not totally surprised, but I am surprised that I got a, a, a degree in dietetics, nutrition, but I'm actually making body care. So it translates as well because your skin is your biggest organ. Mm -hmm. But um, no, I didn't really plan on being in like the beauty industry. 
um, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> so I like it. <laughs> yeah. So how did you, you know, take that leap, um, you know, from being a dietitian to go being an entrepreneur? Yeah. So I was working as a dietitian, counseling um, patients on eating healthy, and I just became a mom. And it's kind of like a light bulb goes off when you're when you become a mom, and you're like, we're eating good, but what are we putting on our skin? And at the same time, my aunties had gotten breast cancer. Oh. And there was an article that I read about aluminum and all these harmful ingredients in deodorant. And as a mom, you kind of start to smell like different. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and being honest, so um, that started to happen with me. And I was like, OK, I know plants. I know um, nutrition. I know how to make things to eat. But what about my skin? What about my body? So I started experimenting with local organic ingredients and making my own deodorant um, without all those harmful chemicals. And so um, I made my first batch and I asked my friends and family to try it. And I got a paddling team, my cousin's paddling team. She's like, oh my gosh, can I pick up like 15 more? And I was like, oh wow, okay, maybe this could be a business. Hey, if paddlers can use yeah, that, right? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, you know, they're wet and sweaty all the time. So yeah, so they started using our deodorant um, this is our deodorant stick that um, we use local ingredients for, local lemongrass, um, local beeswax. Um, we get locally sourced cocoa butter. Um, and we're also in, housed in biodegradable containers. So this is a fully compostable deodorant stick that you can throw in your garden. Wow. So yeah, just kind of how I said my values growing up, loving each other, loving the land, translates into our beauty product and the packaging that it's in. That's great. I know um, I met you a while ago, and when we met, I told you that I use this. This is one of my favorites, you know, the um, body powder and the mm -hmm. deodorant. Mm -hmm. And you know, I remember seeing this in Allure magazine, and I wanted to ask you, how did you get that feature? Um, I really, I have no idea how this, there was an editor that was visiting Hawaii from New York, and she just came across it at Whole Foods, picked it up, and tried it, and she said it changed, it was a natural deodorant that changed her life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she thought she was allergic to all these ingredients in deodorant, but she found that um, it was actually her allergic to her own sweat, and that the powder countered the sweat, and she could use the powder as her own deodorant. So. I don't really know, like <laughs> somehow she got it, but I got to send it to New York. And that was like the first time I was like, wow, I'm sending this to a penthouse in New York to Allure, like uh -huh. that's really exciting. And it was just a blessing that, yeah, it, she found that it really worked for her, so. Yeah, this yeah. is amazing. This is, um, I'm truly, this is my favorite. Thank oh, you yeah. for this. Yeah. <laughs> and so you said you got in Whole Foods too. I mean, you want to share, like, how did you go from, I know you did it for your friends, your family, you know, you did some trade shows. And then how did you get into the market? Yeah, so um, when I, like I said, the 15 paddling team mm -hmm. that picked up my products, I went on to, to talk to my husband and say, hey, like, I think we could start, a, I could start a business. and. At that time, my son was born and he was eight months old. And I was really just looking for an opportunity to have more time with him and maybe just be around more. So I asked my husband, I pleaded him <laughs> to him, can we try this as a business? So we invested um, a little bit and I got to purchase packaging and look for really um, good labeling and learn Photoshop, like all that stuff that you have to do as a business, start a website. Um, and then I have a good friend that let me share a booth with her at the Meta Hawaii Festival. Mm -hmm. So at the Meta Hawaii Festival is when I officially just tried it as a business. Um, because of the festival, kudos to the festival, we got about uh, six to ten new accounts, store accounts, including Down to Earth um, and a few boutiques on the Outer Islands. Mm -hmm. And so having some of that um, already happening for us. I went into Whole Foods and just kind of introduced my product at that time. But I guess there were a lot of new um, cus of my customers going into Whole Foods and asking, hey, this is a down to earth. How come you don't ca carry it? Ah, and that good. was like, oh, good idea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so I think I sent some friends and cousins in uh -huh. there. Oh, awesome. I got a lot of family. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's important. Yeah, <laughs> so they went in there and they you know, said, hey, you know, how come you don't carry these at Whole Foods? So 
that's kind of how we got into to that store. And then the rest was just word of mouth and doing a lot of craft fairs. I think I was doing a craft fair farmer's market like once a month oh, for like great. the first two years, yeah. So um, yeah, so one of the products that we have is kind of new. It's a facial powder that we feature local um, Hawaiian sandalwood. It really helps with um, absorbing any excess sweat or moisture on the face. And it also helps with some anti-aging benefits because of the sandalwood, yeah. Wow, yeah. that caught my uh, interest. Did it? Anti-aging, <laughs> yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really nice in Hawaii. We have a very humid climate. Um, so you use that after you put your makeup on or just as an everyday before you go out in the yeah, hot style. That's great. I mean, I know you use local products and I was looking at this. So this is the sandalwood, right? Yeah, that's our um, iliahi or Hawaiian sandalwood that we use in our products. Um, local farms is kind of what we're, we really love to support. Mm -hmm. So we work with a few small farms. Um, the Iliahi from a farm on the Big Island, as well as the vetiver that you see right here, the mm -hmm. vetiver root here. Um, we use their essential oil from the vetiver farms on the Big Island, as well as Hawaiian lemongrass essential oil. And then Olena powder, we get that from another local vendor from Big Island, so. Oh, that's great. So you've actually had to um, establish working relationships with the farms. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to build our, our um, local relationships as well. So if you know anyone that grows anything, yeah. we like to work with farms and maybe make a limited um, product or a bat, you know, a special batch. But um, every product that we have has at least one locally farmed ingredient. In oh, it. that's yeah. great. Um, and I and know for your um, business, you've also used um, local resources to help you on the business side. I know you uh, recently graduated from Mana Up, mm -hmm. um, and then you're working with the Mink Center. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, I know that they're trying to also help source local um, products. Do you want to say anything about you know your experience on that side of the business? Yeah. Um, so prior to doing Mana Up, I was mostly just a mom running like a small business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like kind of like when I could. And then when I started the Mana Up Accelerator program, it really just kind of catapulted us into looking at the business as an actual, like, okay, you have a real business, like you have to focus on it. So all the resources that came through the Mana Up Accelerator program was Patsy Mink Center, mm -hmm. the SBA, um, getting mentorship through them, and Spire, another accounting um, mentorship. So there's a lot of mentorship that have come, even just from meeting business owners, fellow business owners. Um, I got to, we, we get to share a lot of um, kind of tidbits and save on your shipping or like different things that um, come out of just having a good network. So we built a big network of, of community businesses that help. Yeah, that's great. The process, yeah. Yeah, and and another thing on collaboration, I want to mention. You know, I love your subscription box. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So our subscription box came from just me doing all these craft fairs. Like every month, I met a lot of talented other makers, mm -hmm. and I, you know, the the subscription thing was kind of taking off about a year ago or two years ago. Um, and I was like, you know what, I think I want to uh, do a subscription box that will highlight a lot of these talented makers that I, I've gotten to meet throughout the years. So the subscription box includes three to five natural, organic, um, health, beauty, and culture, we'll say, products um, from Hawaii. So they're either made in Hawaii, designed in Hawaii, um, very Hawaii-centric. And we, um, we like to yeah, ship it out every month. It's $37 plus shipping, and you usually save, I mean, every month, yeah, you'll save some money on, on buying these products by themselves. So, and it's really a way to promote other local makers that are doing great things. Oh, that's awesome. You know, um, there's so many exciting products out there, and for you to work with the other vendors and collaborate and put it together, that's, that's really great. Yeah. So we're gonna have to take a short break right now, but when we come back, I'm excited to ask you if there's any new products and you know what's your vision for success. So stay tuned, we'll be right back in one minute. I'm Jay Fidel, ThinkTech. ThinkTech loves energy. I'm the host of Mina, Marco, and Me, which is Mina Morita, former chair of the PUC, former legislator, and uh, Energy Dynamics, a consulting organization in energy. Marco Mangelsdorf is the CEO of ProVision Solar in Hilo. Every two weeks, we talk about energy, everything about energy. Come around and watch us. 
We're on at noon on Mondays, every two weeks on Think Tech. Aloha. Hello, and welcome to Out of the Comfort Zone. I am your villainous host, R.B. Kelly. Today we are playing two truths and a lie, and I will tell you two truths, and you will tell me which one is the lie. Truth number one, this is a real mustache. Truth number two, I want you to watch my show on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. So tune in and let me know which is the truth and which is the lie. I'm R.B. Kelly with Out of the Comfort Zone and show up next Tuesday to see my mustache live. Welcome back. I'm here with Mele from Mama Lani, and we've been testing her samples. Mele, this smells really good. Tell <laughs> us about this one. Yeah, this is our semi, it's kind of like a limited batch thing that we do. Um, we infuse frankincense and myrrh resin, and we add in Hawaiian sandalwood with um, local kukuina oil. Okay. So we infuse it over six weeks, and this is meant to really bring grounding if someone is experiencing, you know, stress or anxiety, um, restlessness, this was is what you would want to rub on your feet, your chest, your back, your neck, um, also on the temples, okay. wrists, and smell. You can use it as a perfume too. Okay, well, I need more than this. Then. I need to put it all over. <laughs> Douse it in on yourself. <laughs> this is great. So, is there any a new products, or you want to tell us about some of the other products? Yeah, sure. I'll um, tell you about our deodorant stick. Like I was saying, um, this is a fully biodegradable, compostable deodorant stick. We use local lemongrass essential oil, and it's a push-up tube. Makes it very convenient. Mm -hmm. And it smells like the forest and mm -hmm. lemons and <laughs> lemongrass. That's good. So um, this is a, a most popular product. This one and the body powder is our most pop, our best sellers, and most of our customer base is local. So okay. yeah, I've got a lot of locals on the. You can use this one in the daytime or in the nighttime, and then this one when you're more active in the day. Oh, so okay, it's I kind of like a combo. Yeah. You could do a combo or use one. I like to use powder. Mm -hmm. uh, the you know this is more convenient. It's not as like powder you know mm -hmm. everywhere. So. This is some, something also, an option. Um, and so the powder is also very versatile. You can use it as an underarm deodorant. You can also put it in your shoes. You can use it in any area you have moisture or sweat, mm -hmm. even in your hair as a dry shampoo. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you sprinkle some on your hand, put it a little bit on your roots, and brush it out. So do you tell us what's um, in the powder? Yeah, so we use the best source of baking soda. So there's a lot of different baking sodas out there. And we don't manufacture baking soda in Hawaii. But we did find um, a maker in Oregon who has the best baking soda in the US. So we get our baking soda from them. We also use organic arrowroot. Uh, we use clay. And we also use um, organic kalo powder from um, Voyaging Foods the, on the North Shore. Oh, okay. We use uh, lavender, clary sage, and grapefruit essential oils, and they're organic. Wow. So this has no talc, like how previous body powder, baby powder, deodorants. There's no talc, there's no GMO, there's no um, aluminum, there's no paraben. So it's all like, you can actually eat it, but wow. you don't really want it. Yeah. Your body can. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really, really popular. And yeah, like I said, it was it, this is the product that was on Allure, so. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's my favorite, but I'm going to yeah. try that stick too now. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Awesome. And we have different scents. So this is our, um, the scent that we just, I was just holding was our more of a, a feminine scent. Then we have more of a masculine scent. If any guys wanted to try our deodorant, this is more musky. It features clary sage, patchouli, and lime, which is, is yeah, just more masculine. Um, but I use it, so. Mm -hmm. And then we have this product, Olu Olu. Um, this is more minty fresh, so um, you know if you have like a, a teen or someone a little younger that doesn't really not into like floral, um, this is a mint smell, so that's kind of nice. And then our our last scent is lemongrass and tea tree oil. This works really well as foot powder too, um, but I have a lot of yeah teens or men that use this one as well. Oh, it's great! Yeah, when yeah. The, the kids are first getting into their um 
body powder and deodorants. This yeah. is something good, natural to use, right? Yeah, yeah. Stuff you can trust and the whole family can try it. Right. You, know, you can buy one and everyone can try it, see what they like. So This is great. So I want to ask you, what, do you th what does success look like for you? Oh, success. Um, I think there's um, many factors for success for me. One would be a happy family, my family. I have work-life balance, doing, making, having a business. And then having a healthy Hawaii is another success. Having people using natural products that they can trust and knowing that those products are um, sustainable, they're supporting local farmers. So maybe having more people using our products would be another success. Um, but we are very blessed right now. We have a good online um, uh, business happening. Um, and so um, we're, yeah, we're just looking forward to what comes, but we're not in any rush to like take over the world or anything, but more just to get into more local homes and having more families using good products. I know um, we were both in a class the other day and you mentioned culture is so important uh, for your life, for your family, for your business. Mm -hmm. um, and I was really impressed you know, with your Aloha spirit, the values that you shared with us. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So um, my grandmother, Mama Lani, she was really good friends and family to Auntie Pilahi Paki, who's a Native Hawaiian, well-known, well-respected Native Hawaiian cultural practitioner. And um, it's a funny story, actually. My grandma had 11 kids, so my dad's one of 11. So, and they lived in a one bedroom. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so my grandma, you know, times are tough. She had to sell her big hula drum to the pawn shop to be able to feed the family. Right. And Auntie Pilahi Paki actually walked by the pawn shop and saw it in the window and was like, oh my gosh, that's Lenny's pahu. I'm going to buy it. So she bought it for my grandma and went to my grandma's house and said, I wrote this song about aloha. I need you to put it to a voice because I know what I want to say through it, but I need you to put the music or the chant to it. Aww. And so that's how my grandma became a part of this aloha chant. So there was a time that they really believed that um, we're going to have to understand what aloha really means. And it's a five-letter word, A-L-O-H-A, -A, with deeper meaning. So the first A, akahai, which is named after our product, <laughs> to be kind um, and to be expressed with feelings of tenderness. Um, the L in aloha is lokahi, to live in unity and harmony. The O is olu olu, to have compassion, to be agreeable. And the H is ha'a ha'a, to um, live humbly and kind of just know that we don't always have the answers and someone else might have a better one. Um, and then the last A is ahu nui, which you have to wait mm -hmm. for it because it <laughs> means patience. That makes no. sense. <laughs> yeah. That hasn't come yet, but mm -hmm. um, that means you know patience and perseverance. And so this meaning of aloha has been kind of our family legacy. You know, my dad still goes around and shares this meaning because I think it's a time right now in this world that we need to share aloha and really um, just have that as our founding value. And so that's exactly what Mamalani is about, hoping that people that buy our products and experience our brand are really feeling that aloha spirit. Yeah, I, to I totally agree and I know uh, in our class, you actually did the chant, but, <laughs> and I don't know if you would actually share it with us. Okay, okay maybe I will. Okay. You good? Sure. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. Long version or short version? <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> All right. Akahai na Hawaii, lo kahi akuli ke, olu olu kamana o. Ha a ha a ko kulana, a ho nui alana kila, aloha e, aloha e, aloha e. That's the long version. Uh, I, I get chicken skin. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, you can find that. That is totally free and available. That should be shared wherever you go. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, 
kindness for all of Hawaii and, and expressing our Aloha spirit through values that right. ground us. Yeah. I'm a totally believer of I know Auntie Palahi Paki, and I know she said that, you know, Aloha is going to bring us world peace. So yeah. thank you for sharing that. I know. I yeah. <laughs> I know it's hard, right? But yes, I know. I have to get used to, to putting it out there now. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like you said, sharing aloha, and, and that's beautiful. You, you, your chant is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing Thank it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> so, you know, with that, I wanted to um, ask you, I know I asked you about, you know, what, what success looks mm -hmm. like, and, you know, you shared that with us. But where do you see your business really going in five years, you know, 10 years, and sharing the aloha, sharing your products? Yeah, I see, um, so recently my family has obtained a farm. We bought an eight acre macadamia nut farm on the Big Island um, with the intention of growing our own ingredients. And so we're in the process of manufacturing our own raw ingredients. So we're gonna try to use macadamia nut oil and then if we can start using more native um, plants and growing more native plants, like the pia, the Hawaiian arrowroot plant, which is kind of in all of my products, that's a plant that I really wanna start farming. So we have the land now and um, the future would include processing raw ingredient and possibly having like a tour of, of um, on our farm on the Big Island, but yeah, that's in the prayer, that's in the works. That's my brother and his three kids in Ahualoa on Big Island, um, husking, actually you have to pick the macadamia nuts and then you have to run it through a husker and that's what they're doing right there. It's pretty loud, <laughs> but they love it and they, um, they love picking the macadamia nuts, so um, it's really fun to be a part of that too. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's the ahanui, the patience, perseverance yeah. to getting this farm going, you know, introducing more um, local agriculture. Yeah. Uh, so, so hats off to you. That's, a, that's really a, um, a long-term goal. That is, yeah. yeah. And, and persevering the challenges of being an entrepreneur, a mom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Some days it's like, wow, I don't know if I can do all this well, you know, but... Um, it's funny, I, you know, it's a whole ailona, we call it like a sign. So every time, two times I've really sat and like said, I don't want to do this anymore. And someone orders on my website named Grace. And I'm like, okay, I have Grace today. I'll keep going. There you go. That's the sign. So with yeah. that, um, you know, I know you told me that you have a special promotion for us today. So thank you. So do you want to share what that is? Yeah, sure. So um, after viewing today, if you feel like you want to try one of our products, feel free to use the code SHAREALOHA for 15% off our website. And your website address is? Is mamalani.com. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Melly, for sharing um, your wonderful assortment here today. And, you know, I beg you guys, try her product. It's so good. I'm going to pick up more. You we already opened this. Home. Maybe I can have you this You can one. have it all. Oh, it. See? <laughs> There's the aloha. So, again, thank you for joining us. This is Adventures in Small Business. I'm Terry Funakoshi. I'll see you next week.